Katie Akins with Arizona Farm Bureau Ag in the Classroom. And I'm Tori with Arizona Farm Bureau's Ag in the Classroom. And today we're here to talk to you about how bees communicate. And one of the easiest ways for bees to communicate, at least when I'm working with students, is they give me a noise. What's oh, they your go. noise, bee Bzzz. story? Bzzz. But of course, bees also communicate in other ways. Yes. And one of the ways that our forage bees, that's us, we were out checking out flowers this yeah. morning, right? We were Very collecting busy. nectar. Yeah. And we were dropping pollen on flower to flower, You're which welcome. is very important for yeah. farmers and, well, for you, right? For those fruits that we all enjoy uh, to eat. So, um, one of the ways that we as forager bees mm -hmm. are going to communicate with the other up to 50,000 bees in our colony when we return is we're going to dance mm -hmm. because we want to let them know where those fields of beautiful flowers to pollinate are. So I know that there are two different dances. Oh yeah. One of them is going to tell us that the flowers are shh, far away. away. And one of those dances is going to tell them that the bees are actually pretty close to the hive. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to work super duper hard to go get them. So Bee Tori, yes. what is that dance called if uh, our flowers just were like, 300 yards away or less. Yeah. What are we going to do? We are going to do the round dance. So can everyone say round dance? Round dance. Very good. And the round dance is really important. Like Katie said, that's going to tell our bee friends that the flowers they need to find are close to the hive. So in order to do this dance, what we'll do as our bees, we are going to circle one way and then we're going to turn around and circle the other way. So we're going to give you guys a chance to try it too. We'll do it one more time. Give it a try. We're going to circle one way. We're going to turn around and circle the other way. Try not to get too dizzy while you're doing that. And again, so that's the round dance that's telling the other bees that the flowers are close. So what the other bees are going to do is they're going to come outside the hive and they're going to fly a little circle around the hive. Can you guys make a circle with me? Little circle. And if they don't find any flowers, they're actually just going to fly a little bit bigger circle. Did you find any flowers? No flowers for me. Okay, one what more. What does that mean? A little bit bigger circle and whoop, ding, 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 ding. Look at all those beautiful colored flowers back there. Green and yellow and orange and blue. I don't know about that. <laughs> but that is the round dance. And that's us as forager bees telling our friends that the flowers are close by. Now... It's the silly dance. Yep, we got to do a little waggling. Yeah, so we flew a long, long way this morning to find our, our field of flowers. So we've returned to the hive and we need to communicate now with the rest of the bees yes. to come help us. And so we've got to do what? We've got to do the waggle dance. And it's as silly as it sounds. We're going to get a little wiggly. And can you tell us, Katie, what is it that the bees do in order to do this dance? So it's important for us to understand a couple of things. One. Do you know what a figure eight is? Maybe that term's a little bit confusing. So just think of the number eight. I want everybody to draw a number eight with your fingers. Go ahead, do it. No, seriously, you, do it. Draw a figure eight. Okay, there you go, drew a figure eight. So when our figure eight comes into the center, this is where the waggle happens, right? So we're gonna come in, we're gonna walk a figure eight. Bloop, 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 bloop. We're gonna complete our figure eight, and when we get to the middle, we're gonna stop, and we're gonna waggle. Now, not just any waggle. The waggle is very important to tell our other worker bee friends where to go. So, if I were to get to that center line and I were to, I don't know, waggle to the left, mm -hmm. what does that mean, Miss Tori? Does that mean we're flying to the left of the sun? That means when the other bees leave, they have to leave the hive and fly to the left of the sun to find those flowers that are more than 300 yards away. So, what if the field was to the right of the sun? We'd have to turn to the right and wiggle oh, to the waggle, right. Waggle, 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 waggle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What though if we needed to fly towards the sun. Hmm. I think we would just go straight, right? Oh! And waggle, waggle. to the front. Show me your waggle. Yeah. Really you. do it. Show yeah. me your waggle. Really. Do it. 
Yeah, that's what I like to see. Right? There we go. So bees have such a fun way of communicating. And no, it's not always by the bzzz. But it's the dancing that's really important for those forager bees to communicate to the rest of the hive so that they can go collect that very important nectar that they need uh, to make that sweet, sweet honey.